This woman here who sounds like she's from Georgia, but I believe on her TikTok it actually said she's from Springfield, Missouri, and she makes me look very pale. She has come to the realization as to why men are not choosing her to be their wife. I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. Okay, this is not supposed to be offensive, but I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, like, not like this. Just like, you know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I look crazy. Like, that's why guys don't want to wife me up. And I just come to this realization. Today. See? Or maybe it's because all of them see me eat sushi after I get out of the grocery store in my car with my bare fingers. And drink sweet tea. Not that. Guys. Uh, I thought these men wanted like, you know, big, strong, tough girls. I don't know. I feel like all of them are like, like super girly. And all these guys are like, yeah, that's my girl. That's just like housewife stuff. And I'm over here like. I own my own business. I'm covered in tattoos. I'm a little spazzy, but that's okay. We embrace it. But yeah, I I don't think any guy's going to wife me up because I can't take me seriously. And I just realized that. Damn. So here's the thing. I know these types of women very well. I grew up in the Midwest, and I was around women like this all the time, so I understand her archetype very, very well. Chances are she grew up around a lot of boys, maybe her brothers, maybe cousins. She probably grew up mudding, you know, four-wheeling, hunting, these, these sort of things, doing a lot of traditionally manly activities. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that just because you do these things doesn't mean you're all of a sudden not a feminine woman because that's just not true a lot of women can do both but it's especially in the area you know of like missouri they're abs a woman can do both a woman can do these things and also be feminine but i believe women like her they don't they're not able to do both they're they're actually only able to do one so i think that's kind of what's going on with the girl like this is she grew up around, around a lot of around a lot of guys doing these types of things and she fully embraced that masculine spirit even so she started going to the gym she started building muscle she started getting tattoos this is where you start to lose me the thing is even like traditional sort of country men they still like feminine women they still love themselves a traditionally feminine country girl and like i was saying these girls absolutely can do both but the first thing I notice with this girl is she has the nose piercing. She has the hand tattoos. She says things like, dude. She kind of looks pretty built. Like, she hits the gym. It doesn't really seem like she is in touch with that feminine side. And here's the thing. A woman like this, she comes off very humble. Shout out to her. She's not pointing the blame on other people. She's not, you know, she, she's not coming at it crying in her car looking for sympathy she's just kind of explaining to everybody what she's realized and perhaps and perhaps she has been lied to like i don't even necessarily blame her in this situation because a lot of women today think that men do like masculine women like she even said it she thought <laughs> she thought men like these strong you know typical type of women these masculine broads and the thing is, a lot of men are being told they should be more feminine and women are going to like them. So, like, we're lying to both genders and we're leading them in, in the wrong direction. And then they're going to have to realize it themselves. 
So I would tell this woman, get rid of the get rid of the nose ring, grow out your hair a little bit more or a lot more. Get rid of all the makeup, get rid of the fake eyelashes. Stop saying, dude. Try to embrace more of your feminine side. The tattoos, uh, good luck. I, that's all I have to say on that. But yeah, I would say she has potential. I would say she probably has that that southern hospitality. Probably has good manners. You know, I, I think a girl like this does has potential. She's not like this city girl who's super, super bought into feminism and sort of hates men. She seems like a down-to-earth girl who just was misled. Men and women both, they sort of have to dig deep to find the truth about what people are really attracted to. Like this woman, I don't know how old she is. Didn't really do too much looking into her age. I'd say mid to late 20s. But it seems like now she's lived kind of a decent length of life. And she is having to come to this realization on her own that even country men, they like traditional women. Feminine women. Even country dudes who grow up with girls mudding and doing all the <laughs> riding four-wheelers, hunting, you know, they still want a woman who is feminine. But like I said earlier, not it's not saying that a woman can't do those things and also be feminine. But a woman like this just hasn't really acknowledged the other side to her, I think. She seems like she's very, very masculine. But at least she's come to the realization that this isn't likely to get her the man of her dreams. Just like, yeah, yet again, men do like feminine, petite, lighthearted, sort of soft, light on her feet almost. You know what I'm saying? They like these types of women. And she's starting to come to that realization. So I, like I said, I think this girl has a lot of potential. And she's very different from the type of girl I typically review on this type of channel. So... But I can tell her one thing. It's not that she eats sushi with her fingers. It's not that she drinks sweet tea. It's the fact that you have that septum piercing. You have hand tattoos. You wear a lot of makeup. Your hair isn't quite as long as it could be. You look kind of muscular. You say and speak sort of like a dude. You say dude. You say those types of words. Work on those things. Work on being softer more light. I guarantee she can she can find that man.